You know, the district officials told me that this was a decision that they did not make easily, but one that they said when they looked at everything, it was a decision that had to be made, especially when they considered just how high the cost of construction had gone from when they first considered building a new school. That cost had gone sky high. The district had made everything in place. They had passed a bond measure to give them the money for the new school and had several meetings with designers and builders to go over all of those plans. But between the time of the first meetings and the one where they actually had a few months ago, the cost increased close to $8 million. That was enough to give the district reason to reconsider a new school. But I think we were very confident in, in our decision to, to make the pause, and so we weren't exactly sure what the feedback would be, but we were anticipating that it would be much as it has been, that people are supportive, people recognize how important it is that uh, we are stewards of our resources, that we have taken the time to evaluate the situation. Well, the school board and the uh, school president also told me today that they have not ruled out moving forward with this plan, but they said for now they're going to take that bond money and they're going to work on additions and improvements to the current schools because they feel like right now that is the best way to move forward and that is what is in the best interest of the school district. Reporting live, Dennis Evans, KBC 9 News.